Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite styles of film, film noir, past and present. I'm going to be focusing on two films from the past, one that we studied in class. Double Indemnity from 1944, directed by Billy Wilder. And one more from Modern Times or from the present. I'm going to be talking about a film noir drive from 2011, directed by Nicholas Winding Refn. And I'm going to be focusing on two things. Aesthetic qualities of both films, the differences and similarities that both film noirs share. And second, I'm going to be talking about the different gender roles that we see from um, the different times in both film noirs. So first, let's talk about aesthetic qualities. So just in general, from what we learned in class, common aesthetic qualities in both film noirs would be the Venetian blind lighting, the high contrast lighting, which means like heavy, hard shadows. And in both Double Indemnity and Drive, we see a lot of German Expressionism, which what we learn from in class is German Expressionism um, has a lot of dark shadows, city setting, the main character has a battle within themselves along with a battle on surface, and we see a lot of shadows. So um, aesthetic qualities found within double indemnity differences would be a female femme fatale character, excuse me, which would be Mrs. Dietrich. Um, and from what we saw in class, um, Mrs. Dietrich is trying to get Walter to do something She's trying to get him to help her kill her husband and get rid of the body and basically get away with it. In Drive, the female protagonist is not a femme fatale character. She's actually the complete opposite. She plays more of like a Danzel in distress. So similarities would be that they both have the female protagonist. And differences would be one is the damsel in distress and drive and the femme fatale in double indemnity. <clears throat> so let's talk about aesthetic qualities from drive. Some of the aesthetic qualities in the movie drive would be no dialogue, dark shadows, high contrast lighting. And what I found interesting in Drive is there's more music than there is dialogue. There's not a lot of dialogue in the movie Drive. So even though it's a modern day film, nor it's really similar to another film that we looked at in class, Stray Dog, which came out in 1949. And I find it really interesting that Stray Dog and Drive have a lot of similarities. For example, there's no dialogue in Stray Dog, and there's a lot of fight sequences, and there's a lot of fight sequences in Drive as well. So that pretty much wraps up the aesthetic qualities from the movie Double Indemnity, directed by Billy Wilder, came out in 1944, and the aesthetic qualities in the movie Drive which was directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, and that one came out in 2011. 
So you see a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, which I find really interesting. So let's move on to the gender roles. Let's talk about the gender roles in Double Indemnity first. Miss Dietrich basically represents a suppressed female post-World War II. She wanted her independence from her husband. So basically, from the research that I did, women were expected to just be the homemaker in the 40s and 50s. And um, when they were able to work during the war, that was basically taken away from them once the war ended. So Miss Dietrich in Double Indemnity represents a suppressed female probably the way a lot of females were feeling during that time because they didn't want to just be a homemaker they did not want to be known just for being a homemaker but they wanted to have their independence as well which I find really interesting I think that's why I love film noir so much is because from such an early start like way back in the day 1940s they were already showing how independent and strong that women really are and they were challenging the social norm she did not want to be a homemaker she did not want that to define herself um women became important figures in the nor world because of this rebellion that they represented the gender role that walter played is basically the dummy being controlled by miss dietrich which i think is interesting because usually the woman character is the one who's dumbed down um, so the fact that she can control Walter and make him kill her husband also shows how strong of an individual she was even if it wasn't right gender roles in drive Irene, the female character, is the complete opposite. Um, she kind of plays like a weaker woman, and she plays the damsel in distress, which is a major difference between the two. She is not a femme fatale character whatsoever, um, and the stronger character in this film nor would be the male character, Driver. He's the hero, he plays the helper, he rescues the damsel in distress. He's also kind of a lost soul, so um, although he's the hero, uh, he basically like can't save himself, which I find really interesting because you see this a lot in film noir where there's a battle on the surface but then the main character or a couple of main characters also have a battle within themselves that they're trying to overcome. I think that's also why I'm drawn to film noir because that's kind of like what real life is. <clears throat> so basically this sums up the differences in the aesthetic qualities for the movie Double Indemnity and for the movie Drive. I find it really interesting that they share a lot of similarities, although they're, they, they were made so far apart. Also, the gender roles, going back to how Double Indemnity really challenged it from such an early start really challenged the social norms i think that is really awesome and i just overall really enjoy this style of film and i'm overjoyed that i was able to learn about it in this class um and i can't wait to take my next cinema course cinema 26 so that sums up my final project but first I would like to leave you with my research resources alrighty guys thank you so much for your time and have a good summer